You've seen me do videos on the importance of triangles before. And you've seen other people draw Hogan's A-frame triangle like this. But I'm going to show you an easier way of thinking about the triangles, which is the picture above. Here you can see the triangle of the forearms quite clearly. You can also see it as it changes shape as I turn in my downswing. But this is a two-dimensional representation. It may not help everyone. And from certain views such as this, we can no longer see the triangle, which often leads to the student having questions and not understanding the concept fully. So let's explore triangles. Today I want to show you a concept called triangulation. So it's a swing thought and actually mechanical practices for triangles. Um, where you could get the proper alignments for what we're looking to do and then get them all to line up at your at your front left instep. Okay, so the first triangle I'm going to use a strap here because intuitively sometimes people don't get the concept. But if I use something like this in three dimensions it makes it a lot easier. You can see the triangle. Okay, so I've got it lined up to my left foot, my left instep. Now what happens in the swing, if we stand up straight, okay, you see that string triangle and I've got it stretched to my shoulders. If I go into the back swing, all right, I stretch this side, the right side, and the triangle turns. Okay. See it there. And when I come back down, I stretch the left side, my shoulder of the triangle, the shoulder side of the triangle up here comes down, and it's an automatic move. When you side bend down and drop that shoulder, my knee automatically comes in underneath my head. Okay. Right? Then all we're doing is when we finish the swing. Okay, hands stay up all the way to here. I haven't done anything. Hand hasn't moved. Right hand hasn't moved. Okay. And I get to this position. And then I would just turn and let this go. All right. But this triangle is easy to see in this form. I used to call it an A-frame from a point from your head down to your feet. But actually, if you invert the triangle, it makes more sense. And it's easier to think about that triangle simply pointing down to your left instep. And you can see the how the top of the triangle moves in three dimensions. So it's like this. This stretches, and then this stretches as you simply side bend and your knee drops under your head. So it's a very simple concept. We'll go a little deeper into it. I'm going to show you another triangle and show you how to meld the two. Uh, for great illustration purposes, you can grab a hanger. Okay? And the second triangle is from your forearms down to your hands. It's not the shoulders. You could use the shoulders too, but, you know, for right now, I want to use, for a reason, I'll use the elbow down to the wrist, okay? And the hanger can represent that. It's not perfect, but you can see the triangle, okay? Tree triangle form, right there, All right? So, if you form this triangle and you're in your stance, okay? All that's done is that when you turn, okay, that triangle, as it moves, you just turn, okay? So you see the triangle still there. And all I do is bring that triangle up. So a lot of people wonder how you get to the top. Now, to me, it's not that important. Just get to the top. But it's hard for some people to melt that movement and that's all it is. It's simply the turn 
and then you're here and the elbows fold up like that. So it's fold up and then it's simply fold down the same way and fold up. It's a Jimmy Ballard concept and it works. Okay. So think about the triangle. All right. I'm going to turn and I'm stretching the right side of the body triangle I showed you. So you stretch that and then you simply fold up this way and then you're going to side bend, right? And you stretch the left side of that triangle and then the arm triangle simply now comes down as you go through and then comes up. So it's like this. Well, that's too simple. How am I going to get any speed doing that? You have this triangle. Imagine triangle. And it is a real triangle for mechanics. You can simply, as you turn, and this triangle goes up. It'll look like this. So it's this. Right? So all that's being done. You're raising the triangle. Right? Now at the top... When you go to make your shift of the body triangle to the left side, the left instep, and you're doing your side bend and your shoulder drop and everything else is automatic, okay, your head stays there, you're all in balance, this triangle of the arms has moved. Boom, like that. And now I've got this club in a balanced position, straight up and down almost. So this is just for a little swing now. All I have to do is shift to the other side and drop the triangle. Interesting enough, this triangle, if you're up here like this with your arms, and you bring the point of this triangle to match the point of the other triangle at your left front instep, that is power you'll get an extremely smooth, efficient swing doing that. So it's triangle meets triangle. Triangle meets triangle. And I'm not putting any effort into that. And the club is whooshing. So you go, well, how do I get power out of that? I've seen you swing faster than that. Well, because you're here as you're turning, and this triangle hasn't moved, the tip of the triangle from your shoulder, your right shoulder, hasn't moved. It's dropped, but that's because your shoulder dropped. Okay, so now gravity, you let it down. There's an angle still here with this club that hasn't changed. This club head is up above your hands, and then Weight alone will drag this down. You can't hold it up. You don't want to hold it up. You want to be relaxed. And what I'm doing is, as it comes down, I have it like this. It's like a swing. It swings. And what I do is I push it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm pushing it like this with my hand. I have my hand set up like this and I just pushed it from the top like that. I could do it with my finger. It's even a good drill. And those two triangles are meeting up exactly at my front left foot. And then I'll put some graphics in so that you can see that. Let's get out there and use the power of the triangle. Be a ball striker.